Memory games like Simon are a lot of fun, so I decided to make my own version of the game. But to make it more interesting, I added connectors that let you play the game with external switches. I also added a two-player mode so that you can play against a friend. The brain of this project is an Arduino microcontroller. To get a copy of the program, go to the project page and download the code file. Then upload it to your board. First, I recommend prototyping the system on a breadboard. Once that's working, you can install the parts in a project enclosure. To mount the LEDs and resistors, I soldered them onto a small printed circuit board. Then I drilled holes in the top of the housing for the LEDs and the buttons. The buttons are held in place with their own mounting fasteners. The circuit board is held in place with a thick stripe of hot glue. Then I put a piece of tape on top to help insulate the board. The rest of the parts are mounted to the front panel of the enclosure. I started by drilling four holes for the external switch connectors. Then after fitting those in place, I drilled another hole for the power connector and cut a slot for the mode switch. To hold the mode switch in place, I just put a drop of super glue on each tab. Now it's time to hook everything up to the Arduino. The power connector can either be wired to the VIN pin, or you can add a male DC power connector and plug it into the power jack on the board. The buttons are connected to digital pins 2 through 5 on one side and ground on the other. The LEDs are wired to pins 8 through 11 and ground. Lastly, the mode switch is connected to pins 6 and ground. The external switch connectors are wired in parallel with the buttons. Once everything is connected, close up the housing. Plug in the power supply, and the game will automatically start up. Single player mode is just like a traditional Simon game. Patterns are randomly generated, and you have to match them. Then, flip the mode switch to go to two player mode. In this mode, each player picks the next button in the sequence at the end of their turn. You can also make the game more interesting by playing with external switches. This can be anything that connects the two terminals together. You can hook it up to the buttons on a toy guitar. You can make a piezo knock sensor. Use your imagination. Well, that's how to make a versatile Arduino Simon game. Thanks for watching, and check back next week for more DIY hacks and how-tos.